Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. All right, let's quickly start this one off by speaking to Master Crafter because in the last video, well, I got 99 crafting, but I forgot to get a cape. So let's say that is fine. Get the best cape in the game because of the teleport. We're going to be teleporting right next to the bank. Super useful. And well, basically the goals for today's episode are super simple. We're going to max our account and hopefully we're going to do a bunch of PVMing. I only have three things to still do and the way I'll do herb lore is I'm gonna do raids get a bunch of herb drops from those and then turn those into potions pretty much so my first thing on the list is to just tackle on the rune crafting obviously it's gonna take me a little bit of time but now that we have the teleport very close to the bank it should not be too hard to complete so I'm ready let's go ahead and get basically 99 rune crafting next we are starting off on 80 rune crafting and I do believe I have enough of the alt essence to be able to finish all the way to 99 hopefully if you are wondering how rune crafting looks like once you have everything the best way possible uh it, it literally looks like this you go here boom you click that 10k xp drop you tp here you spam click here and then you do this and you go right back and that's how we're gonna do it all the way to 99 and xp per hour seems to be around 3 million uh i, I started to get quite fast at it so i teleport there i spam click right about the skeleton right there boom boom escape boom and we're right back into it i think 3 million an hour if i pay full attention should be pretty doable that is 85 rune crafting there is a 90 rune crafting and i am in the mood to keep it going the reach base level 90s is also a task obviously Fletching, Herblor and Runecrafting to 99. Getting super close, but yeah, I'll try to stick with this for as long as possible. Starting to lose sanity, but it is almost done. That's 97 rune crafting. Uh, I think I'm done in basically an hour. I am 100% not going to miss that, but there it is. 99 rune crafting out of the way. Another 99 done. Uh, what are we missing? 17 levels, I think. And obviously now I'm gonna start doing some herb runs, fletch all the time, and then I guess do a little bit of PVMing. Maybe we'll dive into TOB, maybe some chambers. And in this video, we're slowly gonna max the account, but uh, damn, this place, think I'm not doing 25 mil, I'm not touching it again, I'm done. Alright, so judging by the fact that I only have Fletching and Herblor left to go, there is one very logical activity to do in the game, and that is to, well, Fletch, but also do Herbivore at the same time. Uh, there are tasks for 100, 250, and 500 Herbivore. In the process, I'll definitely get all the way to 25 million Hunter as well, uh, so that's points there. But also, it gives me a lot of time to just Fletch, and I'll get Herbs that I can then turn into Potions and, you know, work on my Herblor that way as well. And in the meantime, I also planted all of my herbs so that's also happening right now so i'm also doing farming basically at the same time i'm gonna be doing this for a bit let's see if i can stick to it i think i might have just gotten the last fragment that i needed no it, i just got I, it was a fletching one i can't believe it dude i still don't i'm 91 herblor and i'm missing that one damn herblor relic i thought i got it right as i cleaned my torso or something and i didn't so yeah i still don't have it let's just keep Keep running, keep fledging. I gotta do this for a, well, very long time, unfortunately. My fingers are gonna drop off. Did a little bit of Herbie, a little bit of farm runs, and we are now the owners of 774 Toad Flex alongside some of the other herbs. We're just gonna go ahead and clean these and uh, make them all into brews. Uh, obviously, we'll need those later when we PVM, uh, when we do raids, whatever it is, and uh, hopefully it's gonna get me closer to 99 Herblor. We're starting at 91, and let's see where we get to. I think it just happened. I want everybody to stay come because this is a big moment oh my god finally 93 herblor is how long i needed to unlock the final fragment i genuinely thought i was gonna go well basically till 99 without getting it i thought i was bugged but if i take a look right now that's the last fragment i gotta level up obviously all my other ones are maxed out so just drew it more xp when cleaning curbs so yeah i'll just equip it let me just make sure i still have all the bonuses now i guess we start leveling the last fragment to max i'll have it equipped at all times uh because you get a nice amount of points once you finish it off basically level 95 achieved it also gave me a little bit of points right here let's take a look 250 actually that's quite a lot of points we're almost at 30,000 and I I'm out of potions I have to do more farm runs and I have to do more fletching god damn it my fingers are falling off I can't feel my fingers anymore let's go one more level to go come on if 
faster. Finger appears to be still standing. And uh, yeah, I, I finished like this level in the bank just because I really wanted to get it done. And I'll obviously get 25 million in the future. But there it is, another 99 on the account. Fletching done. And ladies and gentlemen, Herblor left. I hope I have enough herbs to finish it off. Let's see how many we got right now. I got another 672 that I farmed up. And some extras here and there. And I have another farm run basically ready. If that isn't enough. But, you know, fingers crossed. Let's just go ahead, start cleaning all of this. And hopefully we have enough for 99. Well, I used all my herbs. Came to 98 herb lore, almost 99. So I'm back in the herby prison until I'm done. God damn it, I just want to go to sleep. I went very deep into the night for this one. A logical thing would be to go to bed, wake up and then max. But you know what? I couldn't really wait. So here we are. One more inventory of Bruce. And just like that, the last 99 on the account. We reached 2277 total max level. 250 points up to basically 30,000 points almost. Which is honestly really cool to see. And obviously all the 99s are also accomplished on the account. Now in the process, we also got ourselves almost 2,000 Bruce and 500 restore which will be more than enough for a lot of PVMing to come. Uh, but obviously at this point we just want to make sure we get the Max Cape, we're gonna get the Infernal variant of the Max Cape and we're also gonna get the Avas Assembler variant of the Max Cape. And you know what, we might as well ball out and go for the Imbued Magic Cape Max Cape as well. I'm super excited to get it, so let's go to the island. So first we gotta chop down this tree stump climb over it, mine the rock slide, jump over it, push the boulder, and finally we make the raft. And boarding the raft gets us straight on to the Max Island, where Mac is. All right, Mac, let's have a nice little conversation then, shall we? First of all, what do you have in your sack? Also, what is this eclectic impling doing there? God damn. Can I have your cape? and obviously pay the man. So this conversation is pretty cool, unique for the account. You get to speak with a wise old man. He's been watching our adventures and Hans also knew we could do it. We have a Gilenor, a guide there as well. And there it is, the Max Cape obtained. Looks beautiful as ever, but there is a better version of it. And that is this infernal version of the Max Cape. Let's combine it together. And would you look at that? Probably the coolest looking cape in the game, I'd say. Bro, I hate my bold character. It looks so bad. But there it is, the max cape also obtained. So as we said, three more. Uh, I I'm okay balling out money on this one since I plan on making like 300 mil in some of my next uh, episodes anyways. So yeah, let's get uh, three more basically. Pay the man, that's one. Let's use assembler on it. Nice. Pay the man for the regular version. And lastly, we pay the man for the imbued cape version. Beautiful. Now, with that, I'm now keeping tradition of maxing every single leagues so far. And also, fair few deadman modes as well. So, if we leave the island, we're now located right here in absolute Narnia. But we now are a proud owner of a ton of different capes. Very, very cool. Right now, I'm gonna do something to AFK. And tomorrow, I believe there's gonna be a lot of PVMing going on. So Super excited. From now, the goal is to obtain every single best in slot item in the league. And that is pretty much, uh, I guess, what I'll be working towards. Should be pretty exciting. Now, the very first activity I want to do is smoke devils. I do not have the occult yet, so that is my first thing that I want to obtain. And that is 25 million strength XP. Now we can start working on 25 million attack. And this is maybe the task? Yes, sir. That That's perfect. Nice. We're gonna keep killing the bosses for a little while. What? I just got a dragon chain body. Is that a task? You kidding? That's not even a task. I guess I need full dragon maybe. And there it is. 48 kill count is all it took. And we now have an occult necklace. Let's equip it. And that is a 1 to 5 point task. 30,000 together now. That's a first upgrade to our mage gear. Very cool. Now quickly before I go ahead and skip this task. I just want to make sure I kill one for extra points. I'm not sure if... It'll work. That didn't... Ca oh, yeah, there we go. See, 1 to 5 for just killing it. I almost skipped the task before doing that. So, happy I read on the wiki. So, now, the next thing I want to do is I want to do some Cerberus. Get some boots, and then after boots, we're gonna go for a massive clue scroll grind. And the reason for the clue scroll grind is I still want to get the war blessing. And there are so many points I can get with clues anyways. But first, I'm gonna do some Cerberus because I feel like it at the moment. And we're gonna do some clue scrolls after that. Okay. So I can basically AFK this boss, but there's one, two, five, and now it's time to stay here all the way until we get the 
boots basically and another one to five for not even showing out the souls so yeah fast points at the cerberus at the moment all right so lost ark releases in about three minutes from now and i just wanted to record this clip for the sake of saying that i'm gonna find something afk to do but there is a hundred kc primordial crystal on top of it so very cool and uh, now I'll find something AFK to do, I guess. That is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. But uh, what I'm thinking about doing right now, whilst I dabble into Lost Ark a little bit, I'm probably gonna do 25 mil woodcutting and fire making at the same time. 25 mil fishing. Once I get these two done, I'll figure out uh, my next uh, next step. But damn, that's a, that's a cool drop. Very happy with it. Ladies and gentlemen, KC106, the luck is turning around and we now have a Pegasian Crystal, meaning that I can now justify going for a bunch of mediums still I land on the ranger boots. I still want to get both the other crystals though, so let's stay here for a bit longer. Well, that's a first dupe, another Pegasian. Not what we need, but we'll take it. Damn it, man. Is that a back-to-back? -back? No, one kill in between another primordial. The bank value is going up. We'll take it. If you know, you know. So, uh, let's just say I've been chopping some trees, but, uh, yeah, I had to log out, then I had to log back in, and now I can't play the game anymore, so, 28 million woodcutting XP, almost 25 million fire making, let's do some PVMing until they let me in the game. Make that Pagasian number three or something like that, yeah. Um, nice. Yes, there it is. The smoldering stone. I wanted this one. Obviously, the last stone is the eternal boots one, but let's be honest. Nobody likes to do magic training arena. If I get them here in the next 14 kills, I might go for it, but those are the three stones I actually wanted. Even though MTA is pretty fast with a 3x bonus, so maybe I should stay here till I get all the boots. I'm not sure. Anyways, happy to get this crystal. My next AFK spot is going to be Kraken. I need to do so much Kraken in order to get 10 tentacles so i expect to be here forever we have now defeated 250 kraken for one to five league points and we're now on 31k points so pretty solid i'm gonna afk here probably all the way till 750 to be quite honest never going to complain about the fresh trident of the seas however tentacles are what we're going for and if we don't get them that's fine 750 kc is also the milestone i want to get to well that's another full trident and i'm not getting lucky with the kraken tentacles whatsoever make that another trident and uh, yeah almost 400 kc but i don't know if i'll actually go for all the kraken tentacles required to finish the 10 kraken tent task they exist as the first kraken tentacle out of theoretically 10 that we need in order to do the task will i go for it i don't know unless i get really lucky and that is more points 500 kraken is now defeated we're gonna quickly go ahead and bank my loot and we're gonna come right back for 250 more Another trident. Here is another Kraken tent on KC 593. That's 2 out of 10 done. And that is Kraken number 750 down and out of the way. Two Kraken tents, a bunch of tridents, and I am pretty satisfied to move on to most likely woodcutting and AFK and fire making. Let's get this to 25 mil. Nice and AFK and relaxing. We have now obtained 25 million fire making XP. And in the process, we also got a ton of master clues rolls that we will probably complete in some of the future videos. So if we quickly take a look at the scrolls, that we have in the bank all of this came from woodcutting 60 masters and i also have a bunch of elites a bunch of easies beginners some mediums some hards my mind is telling me let's go ahead and do some zolra i still have to get the helmet i still have to get my trident upgrade and i already have three blowpipes so yeah i'm just gonna do this very chill very afk relaxingly with my bofa obviously there are fastest way to go about it but i kind of just want to afk whilst i do it and i feel like this will be the best way to go about it i just gotta do drain my prayer to zero and I can pretty much just tank Zolra, eat whenever I'm in lethal and just uh, basically do this for a while. Let's see if we can get any drops. Holy moly, I finally got it. Spirit Seed. It's a random drop. I completely forgot I needed it, but it's a one that I absolutely need. Now I can chuck a Spirit Tree with a ring into my house, and that's gonna be super useful. Now, theoretically, it would be nice to get two of those, because there's another task where, for example, if I plant my Spirit Tree in the, let's say, Farming Guild, that would also be an amazing thing to do. But, bro, oh man, I got it. I don't expect staying too long here. 
600 Zolra for. We're now on kill count 131. Uh, I'll just do a finish off this trip and then I think I'm ready to plant this in my house. Uh, but also, I noticed that my boots are pretty bad, my amulet is pretty bad, well, for Zolra at least. So I plan on doing some medium clue scrolls, get a ranger boots hopefully, and also I might do some demonic gorillas to hopefully get a Zenite. Now here's a big one, with just a little bit of luck, let's just make sure we have the seed thingy equipped, which I do think we don't, yeah, city business, with just a little bit of luck, 50% chance we could get two of these. And we didn't. I got fucking scammed. It is what it is. I was really hoping that would have saved me a lot of time. But yeah, I will be planting this in my house. And uh, yeah, that should help us a ton. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment I have personally been waiting for. And that is to create Spirit Tree and Fairy Ring in my house. Super convenient to have this thing available at all times. I now get to teleport, well, literally wherever I want. And let me see if this is actually gonna work. If I travel to my house... That surely should be the task completed, but it isn't. So I need to plant another tree in order to do that. But either way, that out of the way, I now have a nice ability to do some clue scrolls, which is another thing that I wanted to start doing. And I think I want to begin with all the mediums I have in my bank. Basically, most of the loot that we get from mediums should be very, very good. All right, so I think the healthy way to go about this is to just open five at a time, because as soon as I get ranger boots, I'm done with this place. I don't really think I need anything else so let's just go ahead and open and the first one obviously we should be getting some points when it comes to just well completing the medium stuff right so there's one that is a crier a bunch of uniques like uniques are what we're looking for we got uh, nothing in this one we got nothing crazy in this one and nothing too crazy in this one however uh, we still obtained a bunch of points so that is very very good wait is this bandos it is bandos miter i'm gonna have to figure out my bank situation because it is an absolute mess so i'm probably just gonna pick up the uniques and everything else is gonna stay on the floor eight more clues nothing lots of uniques I don't even see what I'm getting here. Uh, two uniques there, another Bando Smiter, one unique here, one unique here, God knows what is here, uh, three uniques here, and lastly, we get Law Runes. Okay, I mean, that'll do, nothing crazy, we'll take it. Five more Clue Scrolls, nothing, uh, three uniques, don't know what I just got, two uniques in that one, uh, three uniques in that one, and two uniques in that one. Okay, not bad, not bad, we keep it going. We got eight more medium Clue Scrolls, come on, just one Ranger Boot so I can go do something, oh, oh. Yes, never mind, fuck the ranger boots, we got the war blessing. This is actually the best item in leagues, because I can combine this with my bandos fragments, and basically, dude, this is insane. I can also wear, like, Slayer Helmet when I do Slayer, I can wear this when I use full Varrox, whatever it is. This is literally the most sought up uh, item in leagues, bro, I'm so happy about this. Uh, but let's open the ra- <gasps> Nah! No, dude, let's go! Oh my god, War Blessing, Ranger Boots, everything is obtained. Oh, I am so happy I opened this and didn't stack them any further. Oh man, the War Blessing is awesome. And now if I grab myself a Pegasian Crystal. Dude, this opening is just ideal. Like, it couldn't have been any better at this point. Uh, we got Ranger Boots. We equipped them, we got Pegasian, so, uh, simple solution, bam bam, bada bim, bada bom, and there it is, the Pegasian boots as well. So I could now basically return to Zolra, um, if I wanted to, maybe do some demonic gorillas. Let's open the rest, let's see what else is in here. Uh, we got another unique, and we also get the Bandos cloak! I have everything Bandos related now. Wait, wait, let me pick this up real quick before I lose it. Look at this. If I search for Bandos, do I have the stole? That's the real question. I have the... Obviously the Bandos cloak. I have the War Blessing. I have the Mitre. So I still need the stole. The little amulet. Oh, man. Bro, that is so insane. That is actually so insane. The amount of uniques you get from this is obviously kind of insane. I don't even know what I got here. I got a Mithril Plate Legs and a Boulder. Um, another unique there. Uh, another Headband there. And uh, two uniques there. And that is basically it. Oi, oi, oi. Wait, how do I pick all of this stuff up now? Bro, I got everything I wanted from this. This is literally amazing. I'm super happy with how this went. Now that we are maxed and we also have the boots, I'm uh, pretty excited excited to go ahead and uh, basically complete a lot of PVMing uh, challenges in the next 
next episode, you should be able to see me probably do a bunch of demonic gorillas, get all the jewelry done, probably a bunch of raiding, which I was originally planning to do in this episode, but then I kind of changed my mind. I hope you guys have been enjoying the League videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one as well. If you're interested in watching everything from the beginning, if you missed a couple of uploads, there will be a link in the playlist in the description. Check it out if you want, and I'll see you again very, very soon with another video. Have a beautiful day, and bye-bye.